Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, just about to finish a contract that I was meant to do in the last episode, but completely forgot everything. It is a cotton harvest contract, so we'll do that. Tidy 4.4k. An additional 2 grand for the contract, minus 200 for the leasing of equipment. You know what? That is fine by me. So we've still got some 10 contracts we can do. We've got the baiting contract to do, and in the last episode, I did say we were going to sell some silage and empty the clamp, but no, because I remembered actually they were going to bait it. Because if we bait it now, it'll be just in time ready for when we sell it in December. Because, again, just a remind, silage is at its best price in December and January. 570 is the best price, currently we're getting about 550, so. Really, we can sell it, but we're gonna wait. So, also, we'll start off with send the in seeds because, yeah, maybe we can get a bit more money from the in seeds. But there's one sell point in particular which is very close to the average and maximum price. So, 1248, so let's say 1250, we could get we can get 1 to 18. 1218 at town source so say deliver town source no looping and that should be on its way and town stores is is it one of these up here oh no no it's down near ain't it town stores yep town source so this is just down the road for us and we'll take the small load as well and again, it's going to be extra money income for us. And actually, I think this will be just enough. Oh, I hate when workers do these on these. And that's the only problem about them leaving the yard. It's just go a bit wider. It's not that hard. Bears me a sec. There we go. Let's cut that car up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, we'll sell the in seeds. And with the money, we should be able to buy some more fields. Because I want to buy 53, 52, and 55, and 58. That's the minimum we initially aimed for before the loan. I actually make so much money from this, I may not need that big of a loan. But I'm going to purchase 55, that's a grass field. Because again, we can get a quick cut off size from that. So down here for a worker. But yeah, we should make quite a bit of money from this. And actually, if we say. We could buy. Can't quite buy that one, but we could buy the grass field. So you know what, we're going to buy that, so all we need now is 400 grand, 625 grand, and we're going to get about 120 ish from the lint seat. Also we've got the short sell, when we sell that at its absolute peak price of around 150 per thousand. We should, because we've got, we've got 3.1 million of these of short. Say, oh, how much? 300 grand. Yeah, about 450 grand for that. But we're still going to take out a loan because I do want to get some equipment coming in. And that will be covered when we sell the linseed, or well, not linseed, fill beans, in June of next year. Actually, I've never actually know this would be an easy supplement for the worker. Interesting how they function. Where are they going? Ah, they're reversing. Well, not too bad of an idea. So we sell the first load. That's four and a half grand. I 
the, the worker had it perfectly lined up and then it'll sort of do a U turn, so. You get a heavy load of this. Four and a half grand. Really, with this, we should be using a lorry. But that's thing, maybe another thing we may look into. Anything in the use market? No, not really of our interest. Actually, no, not quite. 85 grand for the end seat. Math was a bit off there on this side. I'm actually reading the math in my head makes sense. But, anyways, we will go to you. Actually, we'll leave the trailer here for now. We will actually be needing this to do that those size bells were done. So we'll say work, go to go to the farm over there. Also, so I've got nothing in these, got the beater. Still being leased out to us. I also will send you there as well. Because we do need to lease the bell wrapper, so go to bell wrappers, and we want this one here. Oh, heck, let's go with a red. So that is, yeah, not much money, and that'll be our farm as well. So yeah, we've got. A few things to do over the next month and that, we got obviously the size to do. Ideally, this week or next week, we want to do that, maybe do that in this episode. Also, we need to go ahead and mulch 45 after we've got to mulch these fields when we plough them. These are going to be fill beans. And that's going to be our barley field. And these are going to be wheat, so really you should start looking at planting those. So if you can wheat, and then 53 could be barley as well. Actually, what is the boundary like between the fields? Well, actually, no, well. Maybe, yeah, I don't just do fill beans because that's just the easy crop and not so very boring, but yeah, these three fields and that would be fill beans. This would be all the wheat. I should have wheat and barley, remember? And then, yeah, actually, yeah, this here wouldn't do a rye field, so maybe this one could be rye. And then, yeah, maybe, what do we go for? Maybe, because if we do some of those cotton contracts, maybe we do cotton or something. Because we're going to do wheat barley and oats now until start doing cotton in February. But for that, I may wait till March, and then when we harvest it in November, we can straight set it to the sell point. I should know alfalfa we did say about doing as well. Then seeds were okay. Rye you can also plant now. And if we plant it now in November, we should harvest that around August. So if we do that, it'll be August. For the wheat and barley. For the wheat, I'll say August slash September. For the barley, Definitely August. We just missed the window for winter winter rape seed, but we could always plant some in spring. Or oats as well. Oh. I really struggled to get out there. Oh that's why. Ah shut up. Well, yeah, anyways, we'll head back to the farm, get everything ready, and think we'll start doing some silage work. There we go, just getting everything all lined up, and as you've seen, 
Besides, go and get a bit of a helping hand. We've got the John Deere 8410. This is one of the tractors we're looking at, uh, possibly getting. Also, they get the front leak hitch option, but we did have the wing option, so that's got the front wheels on ready. That's got the cedar. And then we've got the motor set up over here, ready to go. Got the bell wrapper over here as well. Because we got a lot of stuff to do. I doubt we'll get everything done in this episode. But yeah, so we've got front wheels to do on these fields, all of these. Especially these ones after our mode, so we may start doing the mode first. And then we'll just go around and do the fertilizing and then the seeding. I think the best option for us would be do a headland. And then we'll just get the work on it. Or even heck it, get the work on it now whilst we're doing the fertilizing. Now I think Doing the heads in is a good idea because I know what these workers can be like at the best of times, so I think that's going to be the plan. Start doing the mowing, we'll go and get the heads in done, then get the workers set off, and then we'll start focusing on fertilizing 56, 57, 59, and 109. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of work for us. Shouldn't take us too long. It would be good to have one of those six done as well to get an extra bells and that, but uh, it's just the order of when we're cutting it, so. But, anyways, won't take us too long. And I'll see you folks in the evening by the time we're done with this.
that is most of the grass work complete already done 54 and 106 we're just about to start 105 and we've seeded 56 in wheat and now we need to do mowing off 55 and start mowing the rest of this so what well, I'll get to work on this I certainly feel found Ah, it's got this bloody metal grass, ain't it? Bugger. Uh. You know what, we'll wait on that in a minute. We need to get this. Back up to the farm. Because we actually now need to... We do fertilise... Ah, uh, what's it? 56, right? So... Cut across this gap in the hedgerows. But yeah, once again, the sun is setting. And that's the thing, we're going to be losing daylight very quickly here over the coming months, so... We need to take advantage of everything, so... I think if we just go up here, and then we just cut down and around. On to 56. Oops, sir, I actually spilled out the clean up. There we go. But yeah, a lot of this is just going to require a lot of work doing. And actually, think about it, this. Um, no, the 84, 84, 10, whatever it is. Actually, it's pretty good. It's got a decent light as well, so when we're working in the winter. It helps us with seeing things. It's got a good light, good range. Why can't all my tractors have these good lights? A little bit bright there. Uh, it's just one of those things. But yeah, so with... The grass fields done an issue. The actual field's not the meadow fields. The meadow grass. We are looking good, and... Obviously, as before, we'll get about 400,000 litres in bells from that. Give or take, I think, and... I've had to guess from 55, so a grass field, so... Maybe another 150,000 litres worth of grass. Maybe 200, if I'm lucky. Uh, yeah, you can never know for sure, and... We are out of fertiliser. So go and get this refilled. Still managed to play hit the game. Now we need to go this way. Still remember on where everything goes. Uh, which one is it? This one here. How much furrows have we got left? Okay, so a decent amount. Should be fine till next year. Obviously we'll be using this when we do like the fertilizing contracts and that. You know what, actually for now, we'll park that over here. Do that in a bit, the fertilizing. Because we do need to start the wind rowing and then the bathing. Bailer is somewhere. I thought I left the bailer here, or did I leave it in one of the other fields? When we're doing contract work. Uh, no, I can't see it. Ah, I left it down there, fair enough. Right in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, left it down there to get ready. So we'll get this hooked up. I was thinking, I want to trust a worker doing this because we're swell. But I think if we do, like as before, start doing like the headlands and that. 
And then, yeah, so... Back it up. There we go. And I think, yeah, what we'll do now is, we'll do another time lapse. We'll start doing this, and then by the time we resume in the morning, hopefully I'll miss bits over here. But yeah, as I was saying, sort of get all this done, and uh, we'll resume in the morning, and everything should be done. So yeah, won't take us too long. Probably be a short time, not same way with the light fading, and I'll see you folks in the morning. There we go, as we are approaching, well, pretty much towards the end of second week of November. We have been very busy, we've got all the seeding done, all the wheat is in the ground. And all that we need to do in all those fields now is to roll in. But we've still got two weeks left to get all that done. So yeah, we've just been repairing our equipment now, washing them. Especially the Massey and Cedar, I was going to take that down to 45. Because we need to put the Roy in. And what I'm going to do is just park that there. Actually, what do we need? Actually, yeah, we still need the case now, so we'll leave it out somewhere near one of the trailers. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's everything done. I think fertilizing still need done on some of the fields to get that second application in. We'll have a look. Oh yeah, a little bit there on 56 we missed for some reason. Along with 54 and 107 once we get all that done. But yeah, just look how the rocks I think are peppered, so get rid of that sec. 
But anywho, well, sure, no, we could put the bell wrapper on this. Bell wrap with the case. Not the case, of course. So put that there. But yeah, there's just little works here and there we've got to do. I think overall we're actually be looking forward to next year. Like the wheat and the barley. We still need to do barley on 53, right? Yeah, 53, but we need to purchase that. I would do that. Oh, okay, actually, yeah. Barley. We're going to have to do that in March. Which is not an issue for us. Yeah, we can sell some hay now and all that good stuff. But yeah, we don't really need to, so... But yeah, I'm just glad we got all the work done on the land that we in. Took a bit of time to do, but... Rather than, like, having multiple episodes on it... I just thought, okay, get it done now, off camera. And yeah, since we're putting this away for winter as well, just have the routine of cleaning our equipment. It's winter, winter maintenance is crucial, and yeah, we've still got work to do, but we can have gaps in between. And I think this for now, we'll just put it onto the side of the building, and then we can come back later on. But yeah, the whole reason of doing the weeds and barley is mainly a little bit of pig food as well as the grain because we're going to buy the grain meal and we're going to get flour from that and yeah that bakery we can do bread and yeah that will do cakes because that requires like sugar and that sugar meal in and yeah okay yeah a production in that could do sugar now very easily. Many of um, a ton of stuff can do that, but well, I may do cakes later on. But that's if we do cakes on this series, which if I had to guess at the moment would be a new. But anyways, we'll send you, send you there, just anywhere we do. Yeah, I'll try to get rid of this bump in the ground. Can't redo it without removing the greenhouses. So, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. And for now, we're just going to shovel all these pallets over here. Oops. Nicely stacked. So, yeah, it'll be January slash February when we sell these. There we go. We're going to get a lot of money for these, so, really untempted for the new year. Let's get some more of these in. We get some land. Dedicate an area. I was still attached. Obviously, you have all these pads. That's been like FS22 on the PS4 Pro. Man, just quite fine. Bit of lag here and there in places, but overall, not too bad. Now, speaking of the greenhouse products, when's the next good time to sell them? If we have a look. Yeah, well, apart from the new year, right, during February, get a little sell around May or July, maybe into August, but after August, yeah, not really till, or pretty much December, during February time again, but, rest case now we get all these pallet storage in, store the pallets, but anyways, we need to do the bathing. I've got 35% shrewl, so yeah, see, can see turn into silage or grass. Grass soon to be silage. There we go. So I have a bit of struggle getting up and go. A little bit wear on the bather, but I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, I'm gonna just about approach the fourth hour on the bather, so 
one more hour at least of leasing on it. And I think he'll get us done in within one leasing hour. The turning circle though is a bit challenging. A lot of it is just like the heads of them, so you can go around once, get it all up. get all this done and wrapped by the end of the month then that would be good so I think I'm going to get that done in the episode because I know this episode is going to be a long one that's for sure depending on how long the time lapses are try to keep around the 3 minute mark at the most but anyways we'll get this all done and I'll see you folks hopefully by the end of the week when we are finished with the wrapping that is all of the bathing dub. We've got 520,000 years of bells plus an additional 39, so that's 559,000 liters. We got about 370-ish from the two fields normally, so that means almost 200,000 liters from that new field, so almost bang on in the middle of where I said we will be. So now let's leave this to ferment. Got it all stacked up ready, so what I'm just going to do is just park it here. Don't need to worry about rain because it's all good. So, with that, we've gone and returned all of the equipment. Anything in the used market? Nope. Nothing of real interest to us, so let's quickly go and get some rest. 
Let's see if there's anything more popping up in the next week. I doubt it, but all that's re Ooh, a bit of rain there. So it stop. Yeah, rain stops. Yeah, all we've got to do now is to mulch in, roll in, and all of that other good stuff. This thing's absolutely pitch black. There we go, a bit of sunrise. All oh, great demand at Tall Trees Bell. So we're going to have a quick look at that. Is there anything of interest to us? Nope, it's not, not for silage or straw. Yeah, we're almost up there with the price with straw. Wait a little bit longer. Silage, 570. Currently, we could get it for 556. So, yeah, we'll wait again a little bit longer for that. Nothing interesting to use market. Contracts. Not so much. I'm not going to do that harvest contract, so... I think on that note, that's where we'll leave it today. So next time, finish off the field prep. Get the right in the ground. And also, we'll get the rest of the fertilizing finished off on all the fields. So then, come next year, don't need to worry about fertilizing. But anyways, that is where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not just trying yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.